Today's MSO market is very, very competitive, much more competitive than it was a few years ago. As a result of that, cable companies have to come up with, with better solutions to retain their customers. The telco service providers are now providing voice data and video, and our cable customers have to come up with competitive solutions to allow them to retain their customers. Motorola has the solutions to help them improve their competitiveness. The most recent effort being in DOCSIS 3.0, where we have a visiting engineer on site helping the cable app staff with the qualification process. I'm often asked by cable operators how they should meet the demand for an internet bandwidth. And what I answer them is that they should not try to forecast what the demand is for internet bandwidth. The demand is infinite. The right question to ask is what are they going to economically supply? Motorola is in a unique position to provide our customers with a solution that's tailored to their needs where we can provide all of the solution, all of the key pieces, and all of the key services to deliver these solutions. But we also know our customers have an investment out there. And so an investment protection is extremely important. So what we've added to DOCSIS 3.0 are some of the features that currently in the standard are optional. We're making part of our standard platform. Motorola has been on the ground with a channel bonding solution starting with StarHub in Singapore since July of 2006. We worked with them very aggressively in testing that in the lab. They're one of our earliest customers when it came to deploying DOCSIS 3.0, and they've been very successful with it. And, and they were successful, we believe, uh, partly because they took an entire Motorola solution end to end. All of that via Motorola services and support can be integrated into one uniform, seamless solution that Motorola can help the customer deploy in their environment in the most cost-effective manner. What I'd like to say to cable operators is that they can increase the average supplied bandwidth to subscribers by a factor of a thousand without lifting a spadeful of dirt. What we've been able to supply with the BSR 64000 is a platform that can start off at 20 megabits per second, average supplied capacity per fiber node, and increase by a factor of 16 with our RX32 and TX32 hardware just by adding a few cards to their existing equipment. The TX32 is the densest integrated or ICMTS solution on the marketplace today. High density means lower cost, it means fewer modules in a chassis, it means significant cost savings in a head end where head end space is becoming a valuable commodity. It also means a lower cost of operations because there's fewer modules to deliver this service required. With the current BSR 64000 that almost all of our customers have in place and have running today servicing subscribers, all they simply have to do, for instance, to get to DOCSIS 3.0 channel bonding is simply add new software, do some recabling in their network, do some configuration and automatically they can leverage all of their existing hardware they have in place today and, and support DOCSIS 3.0 downstream channel bonding. They don't have to spend a single penny of, of precious capital expenditure to get to DOCSIS 3.0 channel bonding. I believe now with the capabilities that we've put together with the engineering team we have here, the technology we have in place, that Motorola will be the leading solution and the best CMTS for our customers' applications as we move forward over the next couple of years. Really, it's all about the customers at the end of the day and driving to meet their solution sets that they need. Motorola is going to win in the CMTS space because we have a better product, we have good customer support, and we're meeting our customer needs in terms of performance, features, and, and price. So a company like Motorola can uniquely step in, can bring all the products, all the service, all of the knowledge to bear in a manner unlike any other vendor in the cable marketplace today.